Lagos workers in their numbers commemorated this year's May Day with calls for increased wages and improved health care system. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olupo-Boko reports. It was a large gathering of workers at Unicorn Stadium in Lagos. The arrival of the Deputy Governor Dr. Bafemi Amzet kickstarted the event with a march past various unions. The chairman of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Lagos State Chapter, speaks first. The demand is about the current situation, the economic situation. 30,000 Naira minimum wage is no longer adequate to sustain the workers. That amounts to $40. What could $40 do, for heaven's sake? But I think the federal government uh, facilities, so to say, provision for the state or within the state is killing workers and Nigerians and Lagosians like the issue of the road network. Every day, you just hear a middle-aged people, young people, they slump and they die because of the stress. And this stress is caused by the untold hardship that we have faced with on the road in Lagos State. In the past four years, we've had some uh, good working relationship with the state government, starting from uh, the 2019 minimum wage discussions that was concluded in April at the federal level. By October, uh, we engaged the state government, and I think by December 2019, we had approval. Besides that, we're also engaging on other welfare issues, talking about health care for workers. We keep engaging, for example, the Lagos State Health Insurance Scheme through the Health Management uh, Agency. You also have uh, discussions around even security, transportation, like particularly on transportation, it is what really affects workers. In his speech, the deputy governor of Bafemi Amzit, who represented the governor, assures the workers of the government's listening years, especially during this second time around. Given our commitment and disposition to meeting workers and labor requests in matters of welfare and security, we are hopeful that we shall keep working together to give way to our aspiration of a rising Lagos. I wish to assure all our workers of our unwavering commitment to their welfare. We are mindful of the challenges of the time and we continue to provide the basic needs of our people and the right kind of leadership anchored on transparency and accountability. The demands made as well as promises. The coming days will give a clue about the realization. Emmanuel Ulubububu, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.